Good evening. I'm truly sorry that I'm unable to be with you tonight. I've been involved with WWF for a very, very long time, and I'm delighted to be your honorary chair. My reasons for supporting WWF are very simple. I believe in this organization, and I admire it greatly, what they are achieving. Over the last six years, I have been involved in a variety of projects internationally as well as nationally, and I'm filled with pride and satisfaction that so many of these projects have been achieved, they achieved their purpose, and they have made a lasting impact. In Canada, we have a particularly important opportunity. We live in a country where we still have a lot of natural wealth, and it is our job to steward it, particularly now, when the changes are accelerating so rapidly. In striving for a higher living standard, uh, we create situations where often the natural and the man-made environment are no more in balance. We are aware of the problems, but net, may not fully appreciate the power of our individual actions, both in creating the challenge as well as finding the solutions. WWF, particularly the strong team here in Canada, has done wonders to educate, to explain, the interdependence, and to help find us the answers. Tonight, we are celebrating our special awards, which will be given to those who have set examples of how to serve society by creating and implementing innovative solutions to specific challenges. These are wonderful case studies, which we know will motivate others to strive for solutions in their own fields. Let us celebrate tonight our Panda Ball, the vast intelligence, the broad perspective, and the diverse interests that are behind today's most powerful voices for nature and their courage to act. The people taking the stage tonight cannot be categorized into a single group, other than the fact that they are all leaders in their respective and very different fields, that they are united by a deep concern for and commitment to the environment speaks volumes. During the next year, I hope that each one of you in this room will be inspired by Greg, by Nicola, by Annette, and take on some project, however small it might be, and channel our personal passion in solving one of the many challenges that surround us today. I want to leave you with a message of hope and confidence. If you all work together and strive towards common objectives, we will be able to make a difference and at the same time get a lot of personal satisfaction out of it. It needs vision, determination, and hard work but it can be done. Congratulations to all of you in this room and my heartfelt thanks to the organizers of tonight. Thank you.